Hey guys, today we're talking about our new Canva templates. Um, If you didn't know already, we do sell templates, both Photoshop and Canva, for interior designers. And I will put a link in the top right hand corner so that you can go and check those out. There's also a free Canva template of a client brief document that you can download completely free. Uh, All you have to do is register with the SketchUp Hub and you will have direct access to that, okay? Um, So, on the screen right now, you can see our new infographic Canva template for interior designers, okay? Infographics, if you don't already know, are super, super useful. Um, They allow you to offer value to your target audience or potential clients or even repeat clients. They help you position yourself as an expert in your field and they also allow you the opportunity of increasing leads. So the infographic that I have right here is it's just an example of one of the subjects that you could cover. And in this particular one, it is curtain styling. OK, and I know that you guys sometimes feel a little bit challenged by presentation techniques and how to lay things out. So I have created these Canva templates so that all you have to do is drag and drop your images, add your logos. You can see here in the bottom right hand corner, there's a logo there with a website. So you just change that to your own. Um, You can use this infographic the way it is, or you can add in your own elements and change the, the content of the text and stuff, okay? But I provide them exactly like this and also in different image sizes so that you can use them for different purposes. So this is the other one. There's actually two different layouts because I'm so generous in our infographic Canva templates. Um, This is just another example of how you can offer value to your target audience um, by showing a little bit of your expertise. And in this example, I have illustrated how to uh, nail contemporary Scandi, okay? Now, what I want to do is talk about how you can use SketchUp, combine it with Canva so that you can produce these beautiful infographics because they're very unique and they can be very stylized uh, depending on what you want to include in here, okay? So let's go back to the curtain styling one Uh, first of all. So you can see right here that there is a lovely elevation of a window treatment. It's very basic. It doesn't have to be overly flash. Um, It's just enough to get your point across, okay? Infographics generally by their nature aren't supposed to be these overtly amazing uh, works of art, okay? You just want to make sure that it's concise and snappy and that it's getting you, you the point across. This window treatment was actually created in SketchUp and so was this little diagram bottom left hand corner. It's actually the same, this little diagram or, you know, kind of more basic drawing is taken from the same elevation. I've just changed the style in SketchUp. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So here is the actual elevation. Um, It's very basic, as I said, but very effective at getting your point across, okay? So what I did was I exported this as a 2D graphic and then I cropped it in Photoshop. Although before I exported it to Photoshop, I changed the thickness of the edges to make it a little more subtle. So I went into File, Export, 2D graphic and I went to options and here where you see, where you see line scale multiplier I changed that to 0.75 just to make it a little softer and I also changed the image size to 3400 because I want to make sure that it's nice and large and crisp and clear. And then I selected OK. So I'm going to bring that into Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is just crop the edges that I don't need. I don't want the edges of the wall. All I want is that bottom line to show the floor level. Okay, so I'm going to crop this. I'm going to bring it all the way over. 
so that I have a little bit of floor level, like so, and then nothing else around that. Very simple, very simple. And then just save it. And then you would bring that into your template and you would adjust the size as necessary. And that's how you do that. Now, the bottom left hand graphic was very simple. All I did was change the style to hidden line and go to edit and enable profiles. And I did the same thing again. I adjusted the scale of the lines in here. Again, not 0.75, used 3,400. I exported it and then I cropped it in Photoshop so that you could only see this section right here. And that's it. And then I positioned it. Some things I want to um, highlight to you when it comes to presentation of infographics like this. And this is something I see you guys doing an awful lot when you're trying to do this kind of thing yourselves. Is that uh, you would have an awful lot of awkward gaps. And when I say awkward gaps, I mean things like that. So we don't want to see this. We don't want to see awkward gaps and too much white space because it doesn't provide a cohesive, balanced and structured look. It's important to have white space and a little bit of breathing space in between each of the different elements, but you want to make sure that there's no large gaps because it just isn't very aesthetically pleasing. And I have noticed that you guys would do that a lot. So that's my most important tip when it comes to these kind of things, okay? I've also included a lot of structure and organization by using a lettering system to help you highlight important areas of your um, window elevation. And obviously then you can create a little list of the important points. I've also included really nice callouts that help you make important points. There's also nice graphics at the top with important headings and there's also subheadings and I've also included nice little things like the separator. They're just ways that you can add a little more of a unique touch uh, to help you with your branding and to make you stand out. Now let's look at the other one. The other one was how to nail contemporary Scandi. Now the elevation that I've used here is actually a watercolor effect. I show you how to create watercolor effects in my courses. I will include another link so that you can check that out. Um, I show you how to create that rendered effect in Photoshop. But you'll also see at the bottom I've actually isolated a little bit of that um, elevation which is a really nice look and the reason I've done that it's just that it adds a nice little bit of uh, creative flair. I've also referenced it in the paragraph to the right where I have mentioned uh, strong black contrasts and using lush fabrics like suede okay so the wall light has a, a strong contrast in black and it also has a suede lampshade. So I'm going to show you very quickly how I did that. Here is a very similar elevation to the one I created in my infographic, this one right here. Okay, I can't find that one, unfortunately, but it does include the same light. Okay, so I'm going to go to edit and copy. I've created a new file. I have set the camera settings for front and parallel projection. I'm going to go to paste. And I'm just going to bring that in. Okay, obviously I would need to change that to black because it's currently gold. And then bring it into Photoshop. And I did apply a watercolor effect to it. And again, I show you how to do that in one of my courses, Course 7, Rendering Floor Plans and Elevations. It's also included in my bundle course. And I will leave a link for that in the description as well as in the top right hand corner. That's it. That's it right there at the bottom. You would just crop that and Photoshop to the, you know, so that you're not bringing it in the Canva with loads of white space either side. And that's it. That is how you bring SketchUp into your infographics 
to add a little bit of personalization, a little bit of creative flair uh, to your infographics uh, using Canva. And as you can see, I always highly recommend that interior designers are familiar with SketchUp, Photoshop and Canva. I refer to those as the big three. And guys, they are unbelievable individually and they are very powerful when you use them together. I hope you find this little tutorial very useful. And please don't forget to check out the templates that we offer at the minute, both Photoshop and Canva. And there's also that free one of the client brief template. And I'll see you next time.